it's time for real estate horror stories. <laughs> <laughs> we have. <laughs> I'm obviously Bob Ross. Um, this is the, the Fortnite, Fortnite guy, yeah. <laughs> also known as Jekka St. John. Jeffrey Vidal is here, a.k.a. Mr. Mortgage. President, number 45? No, right. the mortgage geek. Yeah! <laughs> yeah the mortgage geek. He's the mortgage geek. The mortgage geek. <laughs> Notice the yeah. glasses. Notice the glasses. Yeah. Very important. I like the mortgage we're, geek. We're keeping Detail. politics off. Detail. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll do it. Just this time. I like your, your hair looks identical to the mortgage geek. I That's think it's perfect. Where that guy yeah, is. The old, the old geek photo. The yeah. old headshot. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, that's right. We launched that's that out. Right. 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 We released that yeah. completely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't look like him, did it? No, it was awesome. <laughs> like Owen Wilson, straight up. Yeah. Remember that 2007. Uh, obviously, the mortgage geek is here, a.k.a. Yoshi. He's in the house, Yay. ready to eat some turtles if y'all got him. Uh, Come after so. you. <laughs> <laughs> and then spits him out. Uh, so Wait, I think I forgot my glasses. I can't wear mine. I'm Bob Ross. Bob Ross doesn't have glasses. Hey, uh, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jeff might have your glasses on. Speaking of Jeff, Jeff, you have our first briefcase. real estate oh, they're in my briefcase outside. horror story. <laughs> yep. Today. Thank you. Tell us about... Oh, man. I'm Tell excited us to hear this. I've got a couple. I know you've got a couple. Yeah. Tell us about the first one. So... I'll keep the best one for last. <laughs> These are uh, things not to do, by the way, yeah. folks. I have the best. I'll say the best one for last. But I guess the first one uh, would be with my Mount Helix clients, Jamie and Andre, where I let their, well, we were looking at properties up in Mount Helix. And we were looking at this property. had four dogs in there. And I accidentally let one of them out. So oh boy. I was, if you can imagine Mount Helix, I'm running up and down Mount Helix for an hour. And you're not a runner. No, I'm not a runner. <laughs> and I'm like running up and down Mount Helix for an hour, sweating in my suit, trying to chase this dog back in the house. So but did I you find him. the dog? I got him. Man. Oh, I got him. I thought you were going to say the dog got ran over or something. No. no. I was like, I was just getting ready to go dark. Maybe yeah. it's because Jekka let us in on her little stories but ahead of time. I just went dark right away. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this definitely was a horrible afternoon. It was a hot day. It and gets hot over in Helix, too. Yeah. Is it like summertime? It was the summertime. Oh. Yeah. Where's Mount Helix? La Mesa. La Mesa. <sighs> it's like... It's I see a lot of like stuff about Mount Helix. the Brigantine. You it's know, beautiful. The off the eight. Yeah. yeah. It's up there. It's okay, gorgeous. that's Mount Helix. That's the place where I'm telling you, if you have a million dollars and you want to buy a sick pad in San Diego County, you go buy a million dollar house in Mount Helix, it's going to be bomb. And a lot really? of good views. There's, There's a lot great, of great views, there. great location. It's the, I think it's the best value for like... Eight, nine hundred thousand mm -hmm. um, for getting a house. Nice. Yeah, and not being too far away. Because like, you can go like in certain parts of Carlsbad, you can get some coastal stuff around the same price, but he, the, the houses in Helix at that price are dope. Yeah. I just want to say, like, oh damn. <laughs> I, used, I used to watch your show like every morning. <laughs> I mean, this is like legit. It is bringing me back to like the old days. I, I, like I painted it. this last night. Yeah. I watched the Bob Ross videos. <laughs> he was, and I was so like, good. dude, he was doing. I messed up the clouds though. The way he did the clouds, he was just like, yep, you just go like this, and the clouds are perfect. I was like, damn, those look good. After I got done with mine, it looked terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it looked terrible. Did so you I, really just paint that? I had to fix it. Yeah, I passed it. I painted it last night with this. <laughs> 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 That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's, a, I, it's I my didn't... first painting ever. So really? yeah. Not bad. Somebody yeah, said it looked like... I bought that at Goodwill yeah, or something. Yeah, me too. I was like, dang, that's good. I, Goodwill wouldn't take this, Bombay but uh, I'll try to give it to him. Someone said it looked like caged carrots. <laughs> no, 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 it looks like pine trees. Yeah? <laughs> yeah like pine trees. I mean, looks like this. Okay, who wants to go next? Horror story. Me. Jekka, yep. Oh, gosh, where do I start? <laughs> well, it's Halloween, so give us give us one here. We got to oh, really... Yeah, give, it, give us a scary oh. one. Give us a scary one. See how good it comes up on the screen, too? It's like, <laughs> it does yeah. look good, actually. Very nice. Um, so let's see. Okay, so one of mine, well, I have a lot of little ones, like walking in on some guys doing lines of coke in, <laughs> in front of us. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you can't just go <laughs> all the way there. <laughs> you have to set that up. <laughs> Come on. Hold on, hold on. There's much more to that story. Where are you? Who are you with? Right over. What neighborhood? Oh, What's going start, on? Start, start, start? Like yeah. that kind yeah. of start? Yeah, okay, yeah tell us. Off. Um, all right, I'm Jacka St. John, and I'm with Coldwell Banker. 
Residential, is that what you want? What do you want? <laughs> All right, so you walked into a home where people were doing coke. Yes. So where show me property. Where the going on? Where's the home? It was in Lakeside. Okay, so you're going to, you're going to show property in yes. Lakeside. Was it during the day or the nighttime? It was at night. At on night. like a Saturday were, at like 9? They were tenants and they are renting. And it was in the evening. It was it was like probably around this time where it's, you know, 6.30. Was it a Tuesday or like? It was, yeah, it was like a weekday. Dang. They were college guys. Okay. And All they right. were full on Excused. doing. <laughs> yeah. Drugs. <laughs> when we walked into the kitchen. They didn't have class until noon the next day. Right. Totally fine. I don't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then. Um, what did you do? You walked in and how did you know so they were we, doing coke? So we all walked in. I was first and my clients are behind me and we walk in and I just like stop and they just like pile up on me because I'm like, ah, <laughs> scoot back. So you saw him like. Yes. The, he, the guy was like doing a line right when Dang. we walked in. What did they say to you? They're like, oh my God. I didn't know you were, you, you were coming, like, da 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh, clean it up real quick. Clean it up. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Hold up. I was like, all right, I'll <laughs> wait over here. So. One more. Yeah. One wow. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, sad. Actually, if you see, the hold on, sorry, have you guys seen that meme where it's like the alien Scorny Weaver and it's like yes. the guy at the bar that's been on too much cocaine <laughs> talking to you, and it's like the alien like, <laughs> right, it's right in her face. Yeah, and, oh. We were just talking about that today. Can you imagine Sigourney being your first name? Sigourney. Yeah. Sigourney like, Weaver. I could not imagine. Talk about all the things. That people would say, and how many times do people mess it up? Hi, I'm Sigourney. You're so horny? <laughs> what did you say? Like, what a tough name. Because we always say Sigourney Weaver. You even said Sigourney Weaver. Everyone says Sigourney Weaver. But if your first name was Sigourney, I mean, here's that's a what tough it is. One. That probably when she got just got beat on for so long that that's why she became so famous mm. that she was like, I'm gonna show all these. That, do, that does work. People get motivation from different things. Sometimes it's, it's to prove something. Usually you're trying to prove something. Absolutely. That could totally have been what it was for her. Tough name. All right. Weaver. That's a good. Like the and then Weaver, yeah. the last Wiener? name, too. Like, it's like, come on. I'm this so girl horny had so horny, so horny Wiener. <laughs> it's so horny Wiener here. <laughs> Wiener. Wiener. So, so horny. <laughs> I just can't imagine. Like That must have been tough. That's tough. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough. One. I would just hate my parents. That's it. Yeah, it's, that's a brutal. Uh, okay, I'll, I have a, I have a little one. So this one is this one's recent. It's real here. I'll take the light. Oh, so we're really passing this light around. Absolutely. This, this we can't really, tell a horror story without a light. This really happened. This is recent, and this is real estate horror. So listing in Oceanside. I know the agent. Good agent. Good dude. Sellers, not so easy to deal with. He didn't let him do his job. They priced the property right at the last comps. Okay, and this is about six months ago. Mm, that's good. I just talked to him today. They priced it right at the last comps. He said, we should go under. We need to be aggressive. The market's moving. They didn't trust him. Fast forward, price reduction. First price reduction, crickets. Now all of a sudden they're going, hey, our holding costs, we're making this mortgage payment. This is getting brutal. We should have listened to you, we're sorry. Can you fix it? There's really no way to fix it at this point. Fast forward another few weeks, they finally say we can't take the pain, we don't want to rent, we want to sell, so they sold it over a hundred thousand oh, dollars beneath yeah. the you previous comp. They got to the pain was so bad that they just took whatever. They you took, told a, me they about took this an one. all cash. You told offer. me about this one. It's yeah. a different one. It's a different this one. It's a different one. Another one hundred in Oceanside. Yeah. Oh. This one this one's actually hundred six thousand. Oh wow. Hundred six thousand below the last comp. This it's a five-bedroom happening. house. This is really yeah. happening. This this is real yeah. horror, real real estate horror happening right now. Hundred thousand dollars. Why did those sellers lose hundred thousand? They backed themselves into a corner. They didn't let their agent do his job. It's a good agent. He wouldn't have done this. He wouldn't have screwed this up. They probably would have got seven twenty-five, seven thirty, something like that. Maybe seven forty. Who knows? But when you get so backed into a corner that you're literally saying, "Give me any offer." Well, you Absolutely. Know, yeah. They then, took an investor offer, bring, an all cash offer. Yeah. I mean, they're sending out there saying, "I have to get rid of it." Yep. I have to get rid of this thing. Bring me any offer. And you yeah. paint yourself into a corner. Absolutely. Not, that's not a happy corner. No. <laughs> no. These are very happy trees right here. And, you know, that's not where you're living when you overprice your home in this market. You're living way over here. There's hell over here. I love that the meat's hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's are how he cold? did it. Are you going into No, that? that's how he did it. No, I, I normally wear an undershirt. This is super weird for me. I really, it is. I feel totally weird. I love it. I, love it. <laughs> I think you should rock it every day. This yeah. is, this is the Bob Ross look, though, right here. Yeah. I studied it. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's real horror. All right, mortgage geek time. Yeah. Your horror show. Oh, heads up. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit longer because there's like so many parts to this, but this is like legit. This shit's crazy. <laughs> So I can't say names because of like confidentiality, mole, you know, I do loans, but uh, so I had, uh, you know, some three clients, three sisters, and they like, um, you know, we get them pre-approved and it was a nightmare getting them pre-approved just because, um, you know, they, they're, um, they do nails for a living and just they're all self-employed mm -hmm. and English is, you know, they, I say, hey, we, I have a team member that can speak all Vietnamese, and we have it in writing, and they're like, no, English is fine. So that's how we started off, because you know when you just know like something is off? Well, we just knew something was off, and I was like calling the agent, I'm like, yo, man, your clients are fucking whack. Like, I don't know <laughs> if I can do it, and he's like, please work with them, please work with them. They've gone through like three other lenders, just please work with them. I'm like, all right. So we start getting in, and I start getting these text messages. And they, should, they kept on referring to me as Team Hot Chick. And I was just like, they're like, oh, hey, Team Hot Chick. What? Why? You know, Why? Our, uh, <laughs> because like of my team? team? Oh, oh. oh like, <laughs> and so they, were, they would never call me Sean. They're like, oh, Team Hot Chick. And then like, they love the smiley face emoji. Like every single word, it was all like broken English and then it would be like a smiley face and then broken English and <laughs> smiley face. So they started sending me like these weird text messages. Finally, I was like, you guys, like I wouldn't respond, couldn't answer the phone. I was like, hey, something's gonna happen here. Please just, you gotta start emailing me. Like, this is crazy. So then they write this email called Team Hot Chick. And it is, <laughs> it goes into, cause I said, all right, so I kind of, egged it on a little bit because they like sent like this weird text message. I was like, well, tell me more, you know, oh, tell no. me more about what's, go what's going on in your dome. And uh, it was Team Hot Chick. This one guy came over to my house, Team Hot Chick, and he thought that he was like, she started going into like being like sexually abused and saying that like Team Hot Chick, you know, knew what I was talking about and so was it an accident? No, it was weird. And we were like, what? I don't understand. Like, they were trying to, like, set a stage about, like, that they, like, sexually, like, spoken to in a weird way. And we kept on, and they were sending this to my entire team. And we're all just, like, laughing, like, these people are bonkers. Well, three days before we finally get them all the way, three days before closing, we got an email from the Better Business Bureau saying, hey, so you've done fraudulent um, against minorities because they don't know how to speak English and you just tacked on a fee. And it was three days before closing, so legally we had to cancel the entire transaction and they were supposed to close. So wow. they, they come to my office, they call me on the phone and say, where are you? And I was like, I'm in the car. They're like, we know you're hiding under a desk. <laughs> so they are running through my office screaming at everyone, trying to find me underneath a desk. Oh Start. God. They almost had to call the cops to get them actually removed from my office. This is a and good one. This shit is like <laughs> legitimate. And I'm like, you guys, I'm, I'm actually in the car. Like, if you want to sit there and wait for me, they're like, we know you're underneath the desk. And I'm like, what are you going to do to me? Are you going to try to find me? And uh, I was like, I have to cancel your transaction that you told the government that I am frauding. You know, like I charged you more points and I wouldn't speak English like I didn't give you the choice and so we started providing like hey Better Business Bureau like hey we've disclosed since day one nothing's actually ever changed here's all their emails <laughs> here's uh, here's like um, here's like the sequence of everything that happened here's even the email confirming that they wanted to be spoken to in English not Vietnamese so now because they signed off their uh, contingencies now the sellers like hey they can't do the loan no one can do the loan I have to cancel the transaction now I'm taking your 15 grand and now they're like oh my god you have to do the loan for us and I'm like Dang. I can't do the loan for you I'm so yeah. sorry so then they had to go back to the Better Business Bureau they had to write a report that they were lying about it the entire time that they're trying to actually just remove our fee at the very end to try to get us to redraw our loan docs and then, so they were trying so, to negotiate. 
They were trying to negotiate. They made a complaint what? thinking they could negotiate with you. Correct. At the very, very end. I'm not signing your loan docs. And I was like, I don't give a shit. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so you never closed the deal? So we did. Oh, you so did, we could did half, close it. A well, week I and a half later, the Biz Better Business Bureau said, hey, you're, you know, you're, the claim is dropped against you and your company. We can see that they're completely fraud, fraudulent. They even wrote, had to write a letter saying that they're completely lied to the, you know, the Better Business Bureau, oh, making my. false claims. Um, so we closed on a Friday. I come into work on Monday morning, and uh, so our building's four stories, and we're right by the freeway, and my windows were actually shot out by a gun. That was the first time I went wow. to his office, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. Seen the, <laughs> I saw the bullet <laughs> hole, and I was like, hey, Sean, um, what is that? What is going on? And he's on? like, actually, so somebody shot my window, and, we, and I was like, they actually shot your window? I was like, yeah, we found the bullet right there. And I was like, that's crazy. Crazy. Legitimately. I didn't even know Oh my gosh. Yeah, people be crazy. I know. I what happens if I was there? I would have got injured. Uh, and then what would happen? <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. Cake not be here to do the well, because his that's office absolutely. window is like right there on the on freeway. On that freeway. On the freeway. That's going to take the cake. Yeah. No, I know. I always think about honking when I'm taking that little absolutely. right yeah. there. Like, we see so many accidents. Like people just like come ripping around. They're like, <laughs> boom, <laughs> right in the thing. I'm like, oh. This guy to like climb out of his car, like it was crazy. That's gonna be so. a tough one to follow up right there. Yeah, that's. Gonna be I'll tell you right now. Who's got the next? Here's, but I think there's a lesson there, and maybe we should point to the lesson in all these because I think the lesson is you had a bad feeling from the beginning. Oh, absolutely. Trust that. You know, like, just go with it. Yeah, exactly, and just start documenting everything. Don't don't respond. Um, you know, me saying tell me more. That's totally fine because I didn't understand what the whole text was. But <laughs> you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll forward you guys the email. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. Different cultures negotiate differently. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, that, you know, so things we're not used to, like, we don't negotiate much. Yeah. Real no. estate is, like, that the only thing we negotiate. Our cars, maybe. That's it. But, like, there's cer certain cultures where they literally negotiate every single thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you go to the market every day to buy your groceries and negotiate each freaking item. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, we do get in, like, the loan. There are yeah. certain... Um, Sometimes it happens like, hey, I'm not going to sign your loan docs unless you're removed or give me a lower rate today. Yeah. And I'm like, you're at the closing table. Like, yeah. I can care less. You're the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Should have done this a long time ago. Yeah. You were in the driver's seat. I'm in the driver's seat, so I can care less. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think Jess got a pretty good one. Wait, so do we have um, time for two more or just one more? One more story. I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how long. Yeah, yeah, we got okay. time. Just yeah, got tell, you tell your best one. I'm gonna do the best one. I'm gonna yeah, do tell this. your best. In case we don't have enough luck. How do I look? Do I look that great. There you go. <laughs> scary. I look like the scary mortgage geek right now. <laughs> 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 Little Asian mortgage. <laughs> um, okay, so I have what a really, ready, I have like a really, I have a really good one, and this is a very, this is a true story, and I'm gonna, if you're on Facebook watching this, I'm gonna tag the the clients that were. That I was showing these properties, this these properties to, back in eleven years ago. Eleven years. Ago. Eleven years ago. Okay. When I, about when I first got my my license. So it was um, a family. It was the husband's name was Rich, the wife's name was Elsie. I won't say their last names, but um, so we're. I was in Orange. I was in Orange County because I was a real estate agent up in Orange County when I first got my license, and uh, we're looking at properties in Los Alamitos. You know, houses there about you know eight hundred, one point two million. And, um, you know, I just got my license. So um, I remember one of my professors saying, before you go in a home, make sure you knock on the door very hard because of stories like this, you know. <laughs> um, and so <laughs> he told me one of his horror stories back then. So I, I do the right thing. You know, I call the agent. I say, hey, you know, can I show your property at this time in the afternoon? And he's like, yeah, nobody will be there. Just, not, um, you know, they'll be on lockbox. So. We get to the house, I ring the doorbell, I knock on the door hard. Okay? Kick it. Yeah, and I <gasps> remind you, I'm with my clients and they're two uh, younger sons. Oh no. Oh, and so we go, in, we, go in, we go in this house and it's a big house. So we go down the hallway and uh, you know, as we're going down the hallway, I progressively hear moaning like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I like on? a remake of the video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's exactly what's going on, right? I'm walking down the hallway, and all I hear is, oh. And, so, and this is, I'm not joking. You had to so, know something so bad was going to happen. So you had to, like, go. Yeah. You had to open so that door, So I was kind of, right? like, cautiously, like, approaching, really quiet. approaching the living room. 
you know? And when I get to the living room, there's this huge TV, porn on. And I, I'm looking at the back of the couch, and there's an old guy watching porn. And he's beating his meat. <laughs> <laughs> so I grabbed my clients and their kids, and I shoved them down the other hallway <laughs> towards the towards the, ba- the bedroom. So you stayed in the house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, hey, I'm showing you yeah, this I'm house. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> I'm screaming at the guy at this point. Ain't nothing wrong with the house, y'all. Just <laughs> yeah. down the hallway oh, real quick. This is what happens when you get the yeah. house. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> This is what you get in Los Alamitos. <laughs> so if you're looking at houses in Los, Al- Los Alamitos, be careful. No. So I'm yelling at the guy. I'm like, hey, oh my hey. God. He still doesn't hear me. He doesn't know I'm there. He's an old, like an old guy. And Dang. he's still watching porn doing his thing. And I have to come up to this guy and like <laughs> yell in his face. So I'm, I'm like literally looking at him. And I'm like, hey. And he turns around. He's so scared. He's like, oh my God. And I'm like, we're looking at the house. What's wrong with you? He's like, I forgot that you were showing the house today. <laughs> so this oh is a very God. true story. Rich, wow. I like see if you're watching this, I hope you're okay with me like telling the story. Is there anything you would have done differently? Like, I, um, if it happened again? Tapped him on the shoulder. I don't know. I was, I mean, would you have left the house? I think I probably would have left the house. Or at least pushed my clients back out the house and not in the hallway. I think yeah. that's that's so gangster that you pushed him down yeah. the hall. Well, I, gra- I literally grabbed them and was like, I saw, because I was the first one down the hall, and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. you got to go this way. Oh, my God. Yeah, but definitely a true story. Wow. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can, uh, fortunately. Crazy. Thank you. I've never uh, walked in on anything like that before in my life. Don't know what I would do <laughs> if I did. Yeah. But that's brutal. Jekka, can you follow that up? <laughs> well... Okay, should oh, we nah, get into nah, the nah, morbid nah. one? Yeah. Whatever you got. Yeah. Give I mean, us we, some scary. we need some scary. It's Halloween. We need, yeah, we need, we need a, a true Halloween scary real estate horror story. All right. So <clears throat> I had this default property, and uh, the guy was super nice. I mean, we became buddies. He was this 73-year-old Italian honorary stubborn guy. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> I worked on his short sell for a year oh, wow. a long time. whole year me and my team trying to help him out negotiating all his IRS liens negotiating all the HOA liens negotiating his whole entire house right and me you know getting to know him for a whole year going to his house hanging out with him you know they're, they're going through a lot of stress I'm trying to comfort them um, he, we just became close because sure can, like feel his pain and he's an older guy but he was like a workaholic he had all these odd jobs. I even hired him to paint one of my uh, a condo units to get listed. So and did a good I was job? giving him, yeah, he did a great job. I was giving him like odd jobs just to like help him out, you know. So, so. normal guy doing good things. Right. Okay. Super cool guy, but <clears throat> he was an on- honorary little Italian dude that just was like a fireball, you know, so he's hard to handle. Most people didn't like want to hang out with him, <laughs> right? <laughs> but anyway, so I mean, it was pulling teeth the whole time with this file. And I mean, falling out of escrow several times because certain things or him not doing stuff. And so um, finally we get to, this was actually a year ago. So we get to the tail end, the tail end of escrow. We've got a buyer that like, I mean, is bending over backwards to buy his property. I mean, everything is going good as far as we see it. Um, I became friends with the neighbor because I was talking to the neighbor a lot because I was there, you know, just the neighbor would kind of fill me in what, what was going on. So I was talking to the neighbor a lot and we started texting one day and I'm like, oh, you know, I can't get a hold of Jim. Like, what the hell? Is he getting cold feet like three days before we're supposed to close escrow? We had extended it for five days because it was towards, um, it was. Uh, Thanksgiving so he didn't want to close it before Thanksgiving he wanted to spend Thanksgiving there and then close it so we extended it like a week and um, I I thought he was ignoring my calls he wouldn't answer my phone calls so I called the neighbor I go hey have you seen Jim around like what the heck he's not calling me back like this little jerk like I've just done (laughs) all this work so much time into it now he's ignoring me he's gonna like drag his feet not sign the rest of the documents and this and that so he's like, oh, I haven't seen him take out his trash cans f- 
for a few days, you know, like it was trash day, so yeah. he's like, I didn't see him take out his trash cans, let me go check on him. He goes and checks on him, and he could peek through the sliding glass door in the back of the house, and he sees feet. Oh. oh. On the ground? Uh, on the ground. Just feet. That's all he can oh see. Oh, no. Yeah. So, do you know the end of the story? Oh, my. Did <laughs> yeah. he murder? He, no. <laughs> yes, I murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> I went in. Boy, you were really upset with that guy. Yeah. <laughs> did he, get, did he get his nails done shortly before? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he seriously, he died of a heart attack. Oh. He just dropped in. He just, he, like, he must have been going up or down the stairs, and he died of a heart attack. You went, wow. And he, was de- <laughs> he, he had been there for three days. Oh, wow. So, so, you lost so he had, like, his voicemails <laughs> were blown up with me, like, you better answer my phone calls. You, like, try to take it back. Yeah, yeah and then I was like, oh, You're shoot, like, what did um, I leave? What messages did I the leave? The cops, like, <laughs> check up. <laughs> yeah. You Have you seen these my voicemails? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean he's not calling you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bless yeah. his heart. I've got a lot of voice messages yeah. on here, some of them quite angry. Yeah. We have a dead man here. I know, I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> like, what did I text him? Like, yeah. <laughs> So what, uh, did that end up closing, or how did that all happen? So, happen? because... Probably foreclosed. I mean, yeah, it oh, ended okay. up getting foreclosed on. Because I thought they would still close those because all the documents yeah. no, he has signed. to. You know, he has to sign closing the deeds. Right, yeah. Yeah. but the bank wanted a death certificate. I mean, they ended up just for... Like, we had... They wanted us... They were like, oh, nope, everything's canceled because... Wow. Now he didn't yeah, I mean, leave legally it. Yeah, legally has to go to probate. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't the have a process. will. Right. Start had to go over. Probate. So you didn't get to that point then. You if right. there's family, yeah. it's like the bank's like, I'm not going to go yep. through that yep. nightmare. Like, yep. yeah. yeah, it was a nightmare. That. It wow. was a true that nightmare. Crazy. I think every single person felt bad for me, including uh, like the agents trying to buy. You know, I feel bad for you, and I feel bad for the seller. I mean, he passed away. Yeah. But that's that's kind of creepy. Yeah. Dang. I'm surprised no one has had a story so far about. Um, well, I guess it not too surprising, but for what? It, just a, a, a buying a lemon. Like I know a couple people who just bought shitty houses. Oh yeah. Just like they bought it, it was like a bad flip, and everything went wrong. Yeah. Just yeah. everything screwed up. Everything's broken. Like no, one of my clients bought a lemon from. Uh, Starts with a P and it ends with an I. Um, <laughs> I just want to call anyone out, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh. <laughs> they, the, like the whole lending thing. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. 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 They're like, if you don't Do use, you if you don't use our preferred lender, <laughs> and we are, you know, that yeah. whole thing. Mm. And I was just like, give me a break. I'll close this thing in like 15 days, like. Seven days, seven days. Is it, oh, yeah, you guys. Uh, seven day close, 100% down. 100% down. 100% down. New program. New program. New program. <laughs> Hundo. Yeah. Hundo down zone. <laughs> so just email me if you guys want any uh, information on that. Yeah. It'll get your offer accepted. Um, How many phone calls did you get for that? Like, I got actually quite a few emails. Yeah. <laughs> we were thinking about putting people on blast. Oh, okay. But then we were like, Ugh. nah. Don't discourage kinda, participation yeah. in the future. <laughs> I mean, I still like people. And you were one of them. Uh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you to get back so I could talk to you about it. I was like, I Can got I show you. the text message? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't catch it. Oh, the well, first time I watched it? Yeah. I didn't catch it. Yeah, no, I was texting Sean. I was like, hey, when you get, I need to talk to you about this new loan program. And then <laughs> I was calling Courtney. Did you watch it on Instagram or Facebook? Uh, <laughs> I first got it, I think, on Instagram. and that was So that's the problem. Post on Instagram first. So Instagram cut the actual video at 60 seconds and won't allow right. it to continue. Uh. So the disclaimer, I mean, it does say 100% down, right? So, But the disclaimer about this is all cash, we don't support it, all that kind of stuff did not get put into the Instagram. That got put into the Facebook. So anyone that's watching the Instagram, I'm really sorry. They did cut it off. I have a disclaimer. <laughs> I'm talking about 100% down anyway. Yeah. Don't I shoot mean, up. On. Don't shoot his office up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't shoot my window. The bulletproof windows now, though. So just so you no, know. No, so my client, like, no joke. I just closed on her second one probably like seven months ago, but she was like, yo, like, this thing was a complete lemon. And I'm going, okay, like, that's an investment company. Good luck. Um, you know, they're a behemoth of one. It's not like, how are you going to work through it? Wow. And they bought her place back. That's cool. That's cool. At what she paid plus appreciation you know plus her loan fees plus wow. gave her 25 grand to like just stop the lawsuit you know <laughs> what i mean 
and that's gave encouraging. Her, yeah, I think gave I heard her a bunch this story. Uh, one of my girlfriends. We need to them. know who her attorney is. Her. Yeah. Well, you know, they, she's the attorney. She did it all. She did all the paperwork. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, interesting. I yeah. think. Um, we didn't bring they, her on a show. Yeah. That's the one thing about them is they've stepped up to the plate a couple of times when there has been. That's some good. Lawsuits, oh, good. You yeah. Know. Well, they might have gotten yeah. sued many times and don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. But I can't take you serious in that costume. <laughs> 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 Are you having any trouble taking I'm me usually serious? like that. I usually <laughs> see this guy in a suit every yeah. single day, and I'm like, that's true. It's the nose. What's wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, yeah. Know, like, well, Greg, look at yourself in yeah. the <laughs> I look like the mortgage. You look kind of like the mortgage girl. You look yeah. like no. You look like the 2007 mortgage geek. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, no. Greg, when he came up to me, he's like, I've actually never seen you outside of a suit during the week. Yeah. It was like the first time. No, suit game's on point. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's why when I went suit shopping, I had to take you. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm glad I was there. <laughs> That's my house. <laughs> I, even, I even slept in the bed. Did you post that one? Oh, is that the poster? Yeah. So, yeah. You guys had a the slumber party. Cut out. Yeah. See. <laughs> okay. okay. So you follow me a little. Bit. I'll do. Yeah, I'll do. Good. You got one. I got one. This is. There's actually something to be learned here. So it was. This is going to be a real estate, almost horror story, okay. for me. But Ooh. was a, it was a horror story for someone else. So I went to buy one of my first investment properties. Ooh. Oh, and your first investment One of my property. very first investment properties. This is in Columbia, Missouri. The listing price, $99,900. <laughs> okay. It's a three bedroom, two bath, split four years, 1,600 square feet. 99000 99900 bucks. Oh, nice. Now, nice. I'm thinking I can get a G a month in rent on this thing, right? So we're looking good. Um, and I go in there. Everything looks great. The house looked meticulously maintained. I mean, I was like, "Wow, this is this is legit." Nine nine nine. I was like, "I think we're gonna we're gonna be good to go here." I made a full price offer. Get into the inspection. Inspector starts finding stuff. It's like, "Ah, oh, you got a little thing here, a little thing there. Nothing really big." I'm like, "Okay, I'm there for the inspection." He's telling me it, as he's finding stuff. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Nothing was really throwing me off yet. Maybe I got 1500 bucks here. Not too bad. Then he climbs up in the attic and he and he comes down. And he goes, "Why don't you climb that ladder real quick?" So, I was like, okay. So I climbed the ladder, I go, I look in the attic, I'm like, that well, looks, looks super clean. He's like, you notice anything missing? I was like, no, it looks, <laughs> looks really good to me. He's like, there's no insulation. Now, in Missouri, oh. you have to insulate your homes because you go 110 degrees at the hottest day of the summer and negative five the coldest day in the winter. So you have to insulate. They did not put any insulation anywhere <coughs> in the home. So the entire home had no insulation in it. So they just forget? Yeah. Was, they bought a new construction. <laughs> this is a one owner. And they'd had it for like oh. 10 years. So whoever built the home, they didn't get it. Okay, so here's the lesson. They didn't get an inspection because it was new construction. They thought, it doesn't need an inspection. It's a brand new house. So they didn't get an inspection. Meanwhile, they started putting two and two together after I canceled and told them why. They were like, no wonder our heating and cooling has been crazy. No wonder we've I had mean, to replace our hot. heater. Yeah. They had no insulation. This is like a, a glorified teepee they were sleeping in in Missouri. Yeah. Oh I can imagine. I mean, I've been in houses that don't have insulation in San Diego, and it's hot or cold. Or yeah. Summer. But I can't imagine in Missouri. <laughs> Dude, they, they <laughs> went through multiple heaters in like an 11-year period. They were like, we don't understand what's why we're running through these things. Oh and the AC gosh. unit they'd replaced in 11, 10 years. Yeah. I mean, the AC unit should last much longer than that. Um, they had replaced it once, and it was already it was on its last leg, the second one. And so they finally put two and two together. They're like, we've been spending so much money. They wasted probably tens of thousands of dollars absolutely, in costs. And then now they're going to have to go put insulation in, replace all the stuff again. And it's a, it's a $100,000 house. I mean, you don't have a lot of room to go do all this no. crap. Right. Yeah. So like maybe in San Diego it's a little bit different because it, you know, it's probably the same replacement costs but much higher price points. But the point is, get inspection. Oh yeah. Even if it's new construction. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's so I bought eight enough. houses in North Carolina and never got an inspection on either on any of them. And stressed out the whole time. And, but I didn't know that because I bought them through a realtor that I thought I trusted out there and I got fucking worked <laughs> on every oh, single one of them. Wow. Dang. Yeah. Dang. Knob and tube wiring. I bought a three unit that was not actually a three unit. Oh, <laughs> wow. 
His name wasn't Jeff Vidal, was it? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> crawl spaces completely damaged. I bought, an, I bought another one where like the well and the septic kind of been working. Like so, my brother was like, "Oh yeah, no, it's working. The pump's out there. Someone stole the pump." And then I. I was like, all right, I gotta call these people and figure out like what is going on. I'm talking, we had a backhoe out there, infilling dirt. My well has not been used for like three years. The neighbors were like, bullshit. Like, <laughs> that house was trash. We can't believe you paid that much for it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Yeah. So, so the inspections are are huge. And quick oh, shout yeah. out to the real estate inspection company, Philippe Heller, um, awesome inspection company, top of the line technology. And there's something we should we can maybe bring up along along those lines now because it's become it's become a little bit of a scary market for for home sellers. Yeah. Um, I mentioned the huge comp bomb, which is the second one I've seen in Oceanside recently. Both five bedrooms, both 100,000 plus under um, previous comp prices. Does it make sense from your perspective as an agent to do a pre-listing inspections? It makes sense to start getting ahead of some of those negotiation points in the process in a market like this, Jacob. Definitely. It's definitely worth it. I think if, especially if you can kind of feel that the sellers are a little intimidated, we're kind of yeah. scared about stuff. They ask a lot of questions and they're concerned. Just the other way. spend the four or five, six hundred dollars, whatever. Get the pre-inspection. Get it all out of the way. At least they know what they're getting into. Yeah. They know what to budget for. It's just like a termite. It's like you have no idea how much that termite's going to cost. It could cost a thousand. It can cost. 5, 000, yeah, 5, I never understand like, why. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question. I I just do not understand why, halfway through escrow, and we're still like, hey, where's this termite inspection? All of a sudden, it's like, ten grand. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like this is a guarantee requirement. Yeah. Like how did we not talk about right. this? And it's like, I'm beginning. not paying it. The buyer's like, I'm not paying it. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like a surprise, <clears throat> yeah. and it makes the whole deal fall apart. Absolutely, you know, it's a waste so, of people's time. Yeah, it's the same. It's a termite and the pre the home inspection. It's the same thing. It's like find out what it is. <coughs> I think some people, like some agents or maybe some sellers, don't want to know because they're like, then I have to disclose it. Let's just wait. But when it's gonna come out. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the reason Regardless. why a lot of people don't because, you know, if you do the pre inspection and you have <coughs> a good inspector. I don't know. Maybe the inspector, if you didn't get it, another inspector would come through and maybe miss something. You know. Mm -hmm. So, but I think it's a great idea to get it before you put it on the market. Yeah. So, a the seller knows what's going on with the property, and they know if there are going to be some things going to be repaired, they'll kind of have an idea of what the cost mm -hmm. would be, especially you know termite too. Mm -hmm. Get a shitty yeah. inspector. Yeah, and you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> I mean it, you they, can they're also like, they're they're like <laughs> inspectors save you. You know. Yeah, like, totally. They save real estate agents. They're definitely there to protect the buyers, right? Yeah. Which is great. Um, but you can also, if you disclose those things, then they can't bring it up later yeah. oh, as absolutely. an issue. I mean, you, so you, you yeah. kind of take that negotiation power out, like, you know, I mean, we all do it. We go, okay, well, if we find anything in the inspection, we'll negotiate it and get you a credit or blah, blah, blah. Well, if it's up front and you pretty much know what the inspection is, it's... Uh, yeah. I mean, even if, before yeah, you even yeah, look yeah. at the home, even, even like, <coughs> before you view it, like, hey, here's, here's our um, disclosure statement, here's everything. Because reading it on a piece of paper doesn't Sorry. look that bad. When you're like, you know, Oh, okay. The heating units or whatever you know, yeah. this is dated, yeah, or the exactly. you know whatever. It's just on a piece of paper. It doesn't really like have that much impact. But when you've already made an offer mm -hmm. with your expectation that oh everything's perfect, then you start to feel not so good about it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I do think it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think it makes a lot of sense to take some of that because right now, well, in any market, buyers always have. Okay, buyers don't always have the upper hand. But once you get an offer accepted, the buyers have the upper hand, mm -hmm. right? Because the, the home is now off the market, coming back on the market, it's going to look weak. You know, you have these contingencies. What happened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you get, yeah, yeah, you have all these different things that you can negotiate around. So buyers always, once an offer is accepted, sort of have the upper hand no matter what. Mm -hmm. In a market like this, where they may have the upper, ha upper hand from the get go, it's like you got to do anything you can to try to get some leverage mm -hmm. as a seller right now. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, and I think that's one of the few things that well, exists. I think it's a good selling point, too, if you put it on and you market it, say, hey, if you buy this home, we have an inspection done, all the things on the inspection were fixed, you know. It shows, me, it shows that you're not trying to hide anything. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's just, you know, it saves, the, it's, it saves, it'll be, like if I was to choose three homes, and I saw, I, I saw one was already 
um, there was an inspection done. Everything on the inspection report was completed. Determine was it? I'd buy that one. I don't have to pay to get the inspection done. Oh, it's done. If you're going to fix the yeah. stuff, yeah. then you, then, I mean, you really don't, you don't have to disclose anything, right? Because you fixed it. So like you well, only you have to disclose if it's a problem. You do have to disclose. You, well, you, yeah, you disclose like if you paint mm -hmm. or repair, or if you had any plumbing issues, electrical. Well, you, you do. Yeah, on the you SPQ. Yep. Okay. So you do have to disclose it yep. if you fix it. But not only disclosing on SPQ, that you, you fixed it, it all right? is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I got mm -hmm. a, a homeowner saying, yeah, we, you know, we we did a home inspection, we we did this repair, this repair, and this repair off of that, you know, so we did the the main components of what the, needs to be the done. The buyer's still going to get an inspection. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, the buyer might probably still get an inspection. They'll still get an inspection. Know? So if their inspection comes out gleaming, though, that's really beneficial to you as a seller. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. they, they lose that piece of negotiating. Negotiation. Right. And a lot of times right now, the, the, the unfortunate position a lot of listing agents are in is they have one offer. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a shitty position to be in. <laughs> oh, boy, has the market changed. Yeah, hasn't yeah. it? Just a few months. What that'll do. Uh, what's up, Carlos? Brian Francis is out there. Kirk Cortez, what's going on? Cliff, what's up? Oh. Angie, hey, we are live here on Facebook. It's real estate horror stories. Okay, does anyone have a closer? We got a lot of good ones in there. I have another morbid one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it is Halloween. It's Halloween, so let's do it. All right. <laughs> okay. Jacket, we're going to finish. <laughs> and need, I, what what okay. does that think? The sickle. You need the sickle next to you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I just, I do a lot of distressed <clears throat> sales. So, I mean, with distress, you get more issues, I think, yeah, you know, with yeah. people and their health and, you know, emotions and stuff like that. So I guess the closer horror story would have to be that I was selling a client's property. He was an amazing guy. He was like, I just, I'm very, very shocked that this happened, but he was working with me really well. I mean, we had a really good connection, you know, with just everything was going really smoothly. Um, he seemed like, you know, he was a little bit under distress because he was a few months behind in his payments, but nothing that we couldn't get out of. Like, he was still pocketing quite a bit of money, and he had a whole game plan of what, you know, was going to happen after we sold the property. And not only that, we had like 10 offers within the first week. So. Wow. And they were above what he thought he, we, he was going to get. Nice. So yeah. everything was good. Great. And we were in escrow, and we were probably about two and a half weeks into escrow. We did the, all the requests for repairs. He had called me on a Sunday and said, hey, Jekka, I just fixed the toilet, blah, 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 blah. Told me an update, like, go ahead and, and allow them to come back and, and, like, inspect it or whatnot. And so I said, okay, great. Well, <clears throat> Monday rolls around Tuesday. Wednesday... I was calling him because I needed some stuff from him. And he wasn't answering. Just leaving him messages. Multiple text messages. Wait, another client <laughs> wasn't answering the phone? Right. Oh, oh boy. So. Memory. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, crap, like what is the heck is going on, you know? <clears throat> and so he wasn't, he, and he, was, he wasn't the type that would not answer my calls. He would always text me or call me back. Mm -hmm. We, you know. And so, and he wasn't getting cold feet or anything like that. It was all good news. And, and so um, the next morning after I left him at several messages, kind of like, well, I'm, I left him a message like, I'm seriously worried about you. This is not like you. Can you please give me a call? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of that like sick feeling mom feeling, yeah, yeah. you know? I'm like, please give me a call. Just text me and let, let me know you're okay. Right. That was my last voicemail. And so the next morning, at 7 a.m., I get a phone call from Kentucky, which I was like, wow, it's a salesperson at 7 a.m. calling from Kentucky. Yeah. I get a voicemail, and it's his sister, and she told me that he had passed away. Another one? What? Yes. And then it was all over the news that someone had passed away hiking um, potato chip rock. Area. Oh, so not in the house this time. Not in the house. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank goodness. Not in the house, Jeez. but it was. Uh, <clears throat> That's uh, crazy. Hiking potato chip rock. Yeah, but he met, he went up there with the intentions of not coming back. Oh, so. okay. So he committed suicide then. Yes. Oh man. Dang. Did he jump off the potato chip? <laughs> Isn't that not that high? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, don't think you'll I, don't die. I don't think you'll die. If no, because you, you can off. hang on to it and be like that. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, so. it's tough. That's yeah. really and that's tough. like, you know, a natural cause death or like a heart, you know, that's one thing because it, it just happens. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Suicides. what I'm thinking about it was he like he was uh, losing his home, thing kind of thing situation. Well, he ha- he 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 was in distress. Okay. You know, for a few months. Just snapped. But he was gonna walk away with money, like oh, quite okay. a bit of money. Wow. So he had some equity in there. Yeah, he had some equity in it. Yeah. So it wasn't financial reasons then. I mean, I think something else going on. I think <clears throat> some financial reasons popped up. I, th- I from what I heard that he got some medical bills and stuff like that it just kind of piled on folks so. it's never uh, that's reality it's yeah it's 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 never worth it i mean it just uh never it never makes sense no. um mostly just because of all the people that are going to be hurt by your absence yeah. um is there, have you guys seen a star is born no not yet but i heard it was good no no you no. saw it it's amazing right do it's, i have to watch did it? you cry at the end absolutely it's you're 100 percent gonna cry the, the whole theater cried. You're at the one, like full on tears. I'm gonna cry if you go to this movie, especially the song. But it's like, yeah, the song's ridiculous. But it's it's like going to a concert. It's like going to a Gaga concert, and then wait a minute, Bradley Cooper is a musician too, and he plays great songs. Um, How did he make his voice like that? I that guy's the most talented actor he, on the he planet. Di- he directed it too. That film. And then Lady Gaga just blinded. She crushed. Her voice is just. Oh, dude, it's it'll shake the root of your spine. Okay, I, I just got chills. Yeah, I'm not even <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I bought the soundtrack immediately. Um, we went and saw it a second time in the theater. It's that good. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's long, folks. Folks, two like, hours fifteen minutes. Is it two hours? Long? Two hours. Oh, that's pretty. Long. No, it's two hours. It's like that's three hours. Movie. It was like two fifteen. It was. Yeah. Where I mean, did you watch like it? A long at? time. So no, I eat like a whole. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say I should go to the lot. Couple boxes. <laughs> <of popcorn. laughs> Get in one of the big comfy <laughs> chairs. I, yeah, I can't and watch movies any other way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's it. it's not a fall asleep. Yeah. Type it's, of movie. No, 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 no. 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 It's a it's like it's, it's behind good. the scenes of like rock and roll Concert. people. Oh. Yeah. It's like lots of music. What does a rock star like lifestyle look like? And so it's behind the scenes of that, and they do a great job with staying in that perspective yeah, the whole time. Good. It's amazing. Cool. Um, no, no spoiler alerts. We'll leave yeah. it with that. That's been San Diego real estate horror stories in LA. Uh, of course, we want to thank our great guest today, the Mortgage Geek, aka Yoshi, right there. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> Check out that 100% down program. No, I got a new video coming out next week. That's true. Right? <laughs> Blow your doors off. Like yeah. the Mortgage Geek on Facebook. Check out all the videos. They're insane. Good. Jeffrey Vidal, aka 45, aka. The Mortgage Geek. 2007 <laughs> Mortgage Geek with the long hair. 2020 Mortgage Geek action. Yeah. Yeah. And Jackie St. John. Jackie, you are the Fortnite. Thing. Did you guys see the, the tweet? Fortnite. The Elon Musk tweet about Which how one? he had to. He, he bought, Fortnite bought Fortnite and then, oh, yeah, then yeah. deleted it. Deleted it to so save it. those young men yeah. from yeah. eternal virginity. That was funny. Hilarious. Elon it's Musk not true, is, is crazy but on Twitter. It's, it's funny. He, yeah. he entertained it. So, all right, that's it for Real Estate Horror Stories. Share this video with your friends. Help us make them. Smarter than everyone else. Happy trees, ladies and gentlemen.